Ramon Dino, 2022 versus 2023. This is a fan request from you guys, the viewers. You guys wanted to see the difference between Ramon Dino, 2022. He took second, and he took second, 2023 also. But the big difference here is, guys, they allow them more weight in men's classic physique now. So, doesn't affect a lot of the guys that still have room to grow. But, as you may know, Ramon Dino... He generally scrapes in at the weight limit, so this is definitely good for him. Let's go to the, the first shot here, and you can see right out of the shoot. Not only, even if it's a couple pounds, guys, that couple pounds that he does not have to deplete is going to give him so much more pop, so much more wow, and the stress alone not worrying, you know, am I going to make the weight? If I don't, how am I going to get rid of it? And how's that going to affect my physique? I mean, look at the legs, guys. Obviously, it's not going to be the exact same angle. He's twisting thusly, and he's twisting thusly in one. So, you know, you can make it a little bit more, more difficult. He's, pulled it, he's holding one leg one way, but he's holding the opposite leg the same way. One year, year before last, and last year. He looks more cut 2022, maybe. It's, that's probably just because he's more depleted. But he looks fuller, more pop, more wow. Last year, Fuller, Johnny Fuller. You guys remember Johnny Fuller? One of the great ones. Oh, that was a nice time in bodybuilding. Turn to the side here and I fail to see... The improvements? Mm, maybe, maybe... I like the way he is posing now. I like the way he is holding his arm down. Generally, it should be straighter, but I think it exposes the bottom of his midsection, which is great. He's got a great midsection, but it just throws off the whole, you know, upper, lower package. I just find the way he's hitting it better, I should say. Just to, to wrap it up quick. His chest, his far peck looks better. 2023. Last year, not this year, don't be confused. I confuse myself with that sometimes. Give me the ticket. He has maybe the best forearms in bodybuilding. I mean, you can even see them here in the side chest pose. So, difficult to say which version is better or not. Here is the back, and wow, wow. I'm just going to sit here in silence and let this moment go by. I'm just joking. I can't do that. He looks 10 pounds bigger. First of all, first off, he's leaning back. That's why I made him a little bit shorter last year than, he, than, he, than I made him the year before last, 2022. But he is so much bigger, guys. Look at the legs. The adductors. I mean, 2022, you could fly a jet plane between them legs. <laughs> a little space there. And his back itself, look at that. The traps are twice as big. Of course, they're going to look big too because he's leaning back. But still, still, I don't buy that. I think he has put on mass. And when you're able to be, you know, better, more properly carved up, all the muscles are going to pop. In particular, those calves. Look at the calves. So is there a doubt here which version is better? I think absolutely. I think this is an eye-opener. When you look at the hamstrings, they look soft to the touch last year. Could be that he's just not flexing them, but hey, we have to give our opinions on what we can see. And it looks like he is much more separated, and I mean much more separated in the hamstrings, 2023, but or 22 rather. But man, the size that he has put on, very impressive. As is this shot here, the abs and thigh. It's hard to pinpoint the exact improvements in a lot of these shots, but he has more stage presence, he has more polish, and I don't mean that he's shiny. It just means that he's he just looks more professional. His legs look a whole lot bigger, I can tell you that. And we could see that from behind that he had to deplete, get those cut cut hamstrings. A little harder to tell from the front. But I think it's all gravy for 2023. 
Oh, here's a little vacuum shot. He has an improved V-taper, his lats. So yes, you could see that from behind. His back was bigger. It wasn't just that he was leaning back. He has massive lats. Look at them. They're three-dimensional thickness. So the guy has improved 110%. Just needs to get those hamstrings back. So that is your fan request granted to you guys, the viewers. And I thank you very much for the uh, for the request. It's very interesting to dip into the classic physique division every once in a while. Get your, you know, dip your toes in the water. And speaking of toes, I think that's Chris Bumstead's footsie wootsie there. And it's also Chris Bumstead's elbow on the other side. I don't know how that be. But, oh, it'd be. It'd be. So, yes, difficult to tell which version's better here. There's more size for sure. And I would suggest some more conditioning for 2022. But at what cost? I think the cost is some size. But at no cost in the way of placings, the guy is chasing after Chris Bumstead. And realistically, guys, I don't see anybody else. Some say... Orse, a good old orse. But I don't know. I don't know. I think Ramon Dino has uh, has a better chance, anyway, of dethroning Chris Bumstead than Orse ever would. Just my opinion. I like them both. Have a great one, guys. Well, come on, subscribe to my channel, please, if you have not already, and if you would like to, you know, check out my latest video as well. And there is a playlist if you want to really help me out. You could watch a bunch of videos as well. Have a great one, ladies and gentlemen. Well, come on, Billy!